Hi, Zach. Hi, Joe. What's up? Oh, not much. So, what's going on, guys? I'm <laughs> Joseph Lombardi, aka Into SC4. And, um, uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday so far. Um, uh, Monday sucks. It's garbage. Did you say Monday sucks? It's garbage? Yes. I agree, man. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, I'm just gonna chill. Uh, we do got a lot of things to talk about. We even got a special guest on today. Guys, for those that just joined the talk show, we got a special guest today. Ryan C., the driver of the number 39 car, number 39 Chevrolet Camaro in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. He will be joining us in just momentarily. Um, it's cool to have uh, Ryan C. on. If you guys just saw the announcement just a half an hour ago, Lombard Bros Gaming will be back with Ryan C. Racing for six races in 2019. It, uh, starting off with the West Coast Swing. We, we will start off in Vegas in March, then ISM Raceway in Phoenix in March, and Auto Club Speedway in March. And then the Bristol Night Race in August, then Las Vegas in September, and ISM Raceway in Phoenix in November. So, um, yes, Lombard Bros Gaming returns with Ryan Seed Racing for his second year being back in the car. And we got a new sweet scheme for you guys to see. So this right here is uh, going to be the new Lombard Bros Gaming scheme. Uh, and it's got blue instead of the black and red like uh, we've had a few times. And, of course, we were with the... We had the uh, we were on the black and yellow scheme a couple of times, but no, this is the official Lombard Bros Gaming scheme for 2019 with Ryan C Racing. It just looks awesome. The reason why we went with the blue is because it's our company colors: uh, blue, black, and white. So it fits perfectly. So, anyways, um, it's cool. I uh, hope you guys are excited about the announcement. Mainly, all except for one race. Uh, Lombard Bros Gaming will be in the West Coast races, Vegas, Phoenix, Auto Club Speedway, and then of course the one race at Bristol in August, so, um, yeah, so I love the scheme, honestly, this, uh, paint scheme is better than I imagine it, um, yeah, it's better than I imagine it, and, um, the design was, uh, done a couple months ago. Or the planning of the design happened a couple months ago with the blue, and it finally, it, it it's happening, you know? So, what exciting news about Ryan Sieg racing today. Not only Ryan Sieg is joining our show in just a little while, but to announce that Lombard Bros Gaming will be back with Ryan Sieg for six races in 2019. So, hope everyone is excited about that. I know I'm excited about the entire Lombard Bros Gaming company is excited about that. Um, you know, it's cool. So if you guys want to follow Ryan C Racing and Lombard Bros Gaming, check out uh, Lombard Bros Gaming social medias and Ryan C Racing uh, social medias. And uh, we'll talk to Ryan. Uh, we'll talk to Ryan C in just a little while. Um, we'll talk to him about his upcoming 2019 season. We'll talk about his racing career and, of course, the sponsorship, the Lombard Bros Gaming sponsorship. And, of course, we'll talk about his uh, his upcoming season opener race at Daytona this Saturday. All right, let's get Ryan Sieg on the line. Let's see. Call. Put him on speaker. What? Your call has been forwarded to an... Oh, Ryan Sieg. Four, zero, four. Oh, God, eight. stop. No, you guys did not... No, up, 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 up. You guys did not hear us. No, he don't... <laughs> well, all right. He did not pick up. I did tell him... Uh, well, he did say 630. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, or 630 Eastern. Uh, trying to get... 
Ryan Sieg on the line. One sec, guys. We're going to try it again. Let's see if we can get Ryan Sieg. Oh, Danny sent me the right number. You know what I mean? What if we start talking to some random person? And I'm like, hey, welcome to our talk show. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the? Stop. Okay. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Well, this is a problem. Uh, Ryan Sieg, what are you doing? I'm going to blame this on... <laughs> Mom said we could blame it on Danny. Because Danny was the one that gave me his cell phone number. Oh, really? What if Ryan Sieg has seen this number pop up on his phone, my number pop up on his phone, and he's like, ooh, I don't know if I want to pick that up. You know what I mean? Like, he's not sure. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Should we give it one more try? We'll give it one more try. Let's see if third time will be a charm. Third time's a charm, maybe? Hello. Ryan, what's up? What's going on, man? I forgot who it was. <laughs> it's all good, man. Um, I didn't know if the call wasn't going through or not, and I was hoping Danny didn't send me the wrong number. <laughs> No, no, no. I was here at the shop. I was talking to Cowboy. Ah, I okay. Well, okay. I, was, I, did not, I didn't know who it was. I just... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. I, I, then I was like, oh, 6.30. I didn't realize what time it was. I was doing stuff with the hauler. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, first off, Ryan... Just putting your sticker on the side of the hauler. That way it's on there and everything is good at Daytona. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, <laughs> okay, then... Priorities, man. Awesome. Well, first off, Ryan, I want to ask you how you doing right now. I'm good, good. Everything's going good. I just, well, it's going. It's better now. I was sick this past weekend and for Thursday and Friday, but it's all good now. Awesome, man. Well, I do got a few questions to ask you. First off, uh, and of course, uh, I got my viewers on watching right now. Uh, first off, we want to get to know you more about your racing career and how you got started and stuff. So how did you get involved in the racing, man? Um, my grandpa um, raced dirt cars, and uh, he got um, my brother and I uh, into racing dirt on go-karts, and uh, we grew up racing dirt on uh, go-karts for a while, and uh, kind of did that for probably off and on. Uh, my brother did it more often, and uh, I just kind of trailed along and did it sometimes here and there because I was – younger and then uh we did that and then uh got kind of serious with it and then we moved up to uh legends cars and did that around georgia a little about maybe a year and then i by the end of that year i probably got a, i got a late model and practiced and uh did uh we started racing late models full time for probably about six seven years and then uh we got a we got a uh we, the crew chief that Mike Garvey we had, he was uh, friends with Rick Corelli at Kevin Harvick, and we bought a, a race truck, and we started in 2009 um, racing the trucks. That was our first race with our own team in, uh, at uh, Milwaukee, but I did ride drive for somebody else at Martinsville in the trucks, and then uh, we bought our own and went to Milwaukee and uh, ran good. We, uh, it, I had to start shotgun on the field because it rained that weekend, so qualifying was canceled. And, uh, we uh, ended up finishing 13th that day with our first – first start was our own team and our own truck and everything. And uh, we were good, and we did that for about four or five years and uh, progressed there. And uh, we kept uh, – I think the last year was probably 2013, our full-time uh, was, I think, 13. And then uh, we ran, had a couple top fives uh, that 13 year, and uh, we had brought on Cowboy uh, that year, and that progressed us. And then uh, we got a couple of Xfinity cars in 14, and we were debating on which one to run uh, that year of 14 between the truck and the Xfinity, because we ran both the beginning of that year, and 
we uh, got our own Xfinity cars and ran ran good in, in the uh, Xfinity. So we decided to keep continuing with the Xfinity series, which was the nationwide then. And uh, we've been uh, doing that ever since. Right on, man. Well, I do want to ask you, so how did – what came you – what – came up with the idea of you wanting to start your own race team? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of money. And then at the time, you know, Shane had uh, been racing for other people here and there, and he kind of didn't get everything he should have, or was supposed to be getting. And that's when it was kind of changing between where you you have a funded ride, you know, you got to pay to drive and then people would want you to drive and you, you get paid. And it was kind of a, a you didn't know what you were going to get. And so we just kind of, my, my dad and I, we kind of came with a plan and just kind of, we knew what we were, if we'd got our own stuff, we knew what we were going to get. We could get what we wanted and what, with, with what money we could get instead of just, just giving your money to somebody or a team and not knowing really what you're going to get. So we kind of just decided to go to that route. And we knew what we were going to get and uh, what we could afford. So we just knew all of all the money we were going to, put into it was going to go kind of towards the race car um was the most uh the most the part we were, that's why we decided to do our own awesome well i do want to ask you about um sponsorship and stuff so obviously you guys are always looking for uh sponsorship and it seems like you guys are uh, so far, from all the announcements I've been seeing uh, for this season, so far you guys are getting some sponsorships out there. Of course, you've had some last year. How important is it for your team with sponsorships? Um, very important. That's that's what makes the team go. You know, what I mean, that's it's all. That's what it's everything based around is your is money. You know what I mean? Speed is money. Then you keep you keep racing. You got to have the sponsorship coming in. Uh, uh, you know, it just, uh, everything's so expensive. Uh, everything, man, you know what I mean? In racing right now is expensive. Everything period is expensive, but to try to race is very expensive. And, uh, it's all driven around money. I, you know what I mean? That's, you see people leaving and going and NASCAR because they just don't have a sponsor following them or sponsors just don't want to do it anymore. And that's the end of their driving, you know, it's kind of, the way it is but yeah that's a that's a lot of it all right so this weekend is the season open at daytona and of course uh we all a lot of drivers and teams they know what to expect at daytona anything can happen over there and you gotta be at the right place at the right time whether it's you know trying to get to victory lane or get a good result or or being in the wrong place at the wrong time sometimes so um what's your expectations going to daytona i know you've had a couple of top 10 runs Top ten finishes over there. Uh, so, uh, what what's your expectations like for Daytona? What do you have any sort of plan that you want to want to do out there on the racetrack uh, come Saturday? Um. Well, just uh, <laughs> you always want to stay out of the wrecks is the main is the number one goal, and then uh, hopefully you find yourself at the end and try to try to go for the win. But I mean, the top ten is always what you kind of shoot for. You know what I mean down there, but sometimes you just got to take what you can get, but you're always looking for trying to get a win right away at Daytona. Awesome, man. Well, Ryan, see, we do have a few questions from uh, the fans. So, um, so chat, if you do have any questions for Ryan, see, you're more than welcome to ask him some questions. We'll read them out to him and we'll give him some questions and stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, I do want to ask you, um, Someone did say, um, is there any history to why you picked the 39 as the number dating as far back as in the truck series as well? Um, no, that's just the number that we ran. My brother ran it back when he ran all pro and, uh, it was kind of our own number. We, he'd been running it for a while and I ran it when I started back in late models and we just, just kind of continued with it. That's what kind of, I guess, uh, my parents probably kind of wanted that number but i always wanted to run 13 but they nobody i said it was unlucky so i couldn't run, run that one so <laughs> 39 it was sounds good uh what do you do in your spare time when you're not racing um 
depends on the time of the year. But yeah, well, I have just had a new um, little girl born. She was born on December twenty eighth, so that's been uh, taking up some of the time lately. But usually, just go uh, to the lake or uh, oh, try to hang out with family, or go to the beach, and uh, just try to try to see as much of the family as I can that I don't see. That, you know what I mean? Since I'm gone, but. Yeah, usually just hang out and go to the lake or hang out at the house and chill. I have a couple couple of uh, muscle cars uh, that I mess around with and kind of rebuild and redo, stuff like that. Awesome. What What is the racetrack you're excited about? When you know it's on the schedule, uh, what racetrack comes in your mind that you know you have high expectations for? Hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, I... I usually circled over. That's always a fun, fun track to get to, to go to. And uh, if you have something that you know what I mean, a car you can work with and drives well, and you can usually move, your, you know what I mean, move yourself up towards the front. Uh, usually, it's Dover. That's that's one of them. But there's many. But uh, Dover, I would say. Awesome. Um, let's see. Um, oh, wait, I saw a question. It just went. It just went away. Um, Okay, so uh, yeah, do you, uh, so what? Uh, what are you, uh, I know you've already announced. You guys, or I should say, the entire team uh, has already announced some plans for twenty nineteen. Um, so, is there any more upcoming plans you guys have? I know uh, you guys just recently um, got a new driver um, in the uh, for your race team for this year. Um, but you guys have any upcoming plans still? No, that I mean uh, for right now, that's that's all the announcements we have right now with Josh Balicki and, and Jeff Green. Uh, we're always, you know, I mean, just trying to find some, some sponsorship for Jeff, but uh, that'll probably be later. You know what I mean? I'm, everything's up in the air right now. All right, sounds good. Um, who do you think is your? If someone asks who who do you think is your biggest ally on the racetrack? Like, who do you know you can trust around the racetrack? Um, probably, probably Jeremy Clements and, uh, well, you know, also my teammates if they're racing, but yeah, Clements and there's a few others that can't think of right now, but yeah, you know, so, and then jo- a Balicki, uh, so, but yeah, usually teammates or Clements or, uh, I think, I heck, I don't know, <laughs> been a long off season. So what is your, uh, what was your favorite race of all time that you have competed in? Hmm. Um. Ooh. Tough one. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're all fun. You know what I mean? There's not really just one that just jumps out. Uh, it's all, they're all fun. You know what I mean? Uh, they're all you know what I mean. A lot of fun to go to anytime you get to race and uh, do what you love. So I would. It, there's not really one, but um. Huh. So probably be the snowball derby uh, i think uh would be one you know what i mean it's always it was always fun to go to when we ran late models it was a lot of fun to go to uh, who what driver uh was your biggest inspiration growing up mm, probably, probably i always uh Davey Allison, I guess. Oh, good one. And then, yeah, Davey Allison and uh, probably Dale Jarrett. Oh, of course. Awesome. Good picks. I like that. <laughs> All right. So if you guys uh, have any more questions for Ryan Sieg, um, you're more than uh, welcome to ask him some questions. Uh, but, um, oh, so someone asked, uh, let's see. Uh, somebody wants to know if you put the, wait. Oh, sorry. Uh, never mind. Um, let's see. Oh, so I want to ask you, Ryan. I I know you've probably been asked this before, but uh, what what are some advice you would give to someone trying to get into racing? Mm. <coughs> um, just uh, just gotta. <laughs> it's that's a tough question. Some advice. <laughs> just try to work your hardest. You know what I mean. Give it your all. You know what I mean. That's with like everything, though. But. Uh, yeah, just try to give what you can, do what you can, you know what I mean, with what you got, and do the best you can, that's, uh, and, uh, try to get with the right group of, the right team, or the right 
the right guys around you and uh you should you should succeed all right awesome uh what do you like to do around the race shop um uh, heck, I don't know. A little bit of everything. Uh, you, uh, what do I like to do? What do I, that I, I wish there was something that I could just, that I could like to do and do it, but I pretty much do a little bit of everything here. So it's kind of hard to say what exactly I would like, but, uh, <laughs> um, um yeah, that's a tough question. I don't know on that one. Did, have you ever, I would say, ask this one, uh, have you ever attempted to work on your race cars at the shop? What, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I used to, I, we, well, back when I ran the trucks, um, I pretty much, pretty much almost kind of did everything. We only had a, uh, when we first started, just me and another guy. So, and uh, I did, me and him did most of the work to get to the track. So, I'm, I'm a pretty much mechanic, you know, mechanic, put the engines in, gears, and stuff like that. So pretty much been around all of, you know what I mean, putting them together and wire, wire, whatever we needed, stickers and vinyl and driving the hauler. So pretty much done most of, uh, touched everything on the team, <laughs> <laughs> except putting body work and stuff like that, but, uh, Everything else I have done, so. Oh, okay, Danny asked this question for you. Did you put the Daytona wrap on yet? <laughs> Half of it, and then they had to then they had to pull the car down. So it's on the pull down. I have to wait for for them to finish, and then uh, I can finish it up. Besides, I he he could finish it if he wants. I don't know why why to wait. <laughs> yeah. You know, tell him to come on down. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Why he he could yeah like why why does he have to rely on you all the time I don't get it. you you drive the race car you know he does so <laughs> um is there a track that you just don't get excited about on the racetrack or like in NASCAR like you know that like uh, I don't have high, high expectations for hmm I would say probably some of the road courses. Uh... Watkins Glen usually we struggle. Just uh, I, you know what I mean. Probably me and some of the car. You know what I mean. The car we just our stuff's just not up to par. You know what I mean compared to what the Cup affiliated teams have there would probably be the road course stuff and some of the short track stuff. And just a little bit of everything, but yeah, probably the road courses probably be the ones like ah, you know. But, <laughs> Sounds no, I get that. It's, it's basically um some tough race, just tough road courses. Well, it is, it is. You know what I mean? You got the road courses is, requires a whole different set of skills and a whole different set of cars. Just you know what I mean? Everything's just so different than from what you know. You got to have a. It's a whole. You know what I mean? Those cars just pretty much you're from there, and you really got to you know what I mean? Detail them out, have them nice to have to have a good. Good shot of running good there. They're they're fun tracks to to drive at, you know what I mean. But that's also if you have something that you can work with. But uh, but that would probably be the downfall. Would be road courses. Sounds good. Well, Ryan, we'll let you go in a few minutes. But um, I know um, this past week, um, Lombard Bros Gaming released a giveaway of of a replica of your. Uh, of your race car from Auto Club last year, the first race that Lombard Bros Gaming was ever involved in. We did do a give. We started a giveaway of the diecast, and we're gonna give it away to somebody. And uh, I have all these names here, and we're gonna announce the winner of the giveaway. So it's such a cool thing that uh, we got a guy that um, that made the diecast uh, for the giveaway winner. I think it's it's cool. It's neat. I would never think uh, we would have a diecast of our company on there uh so it's it's pretty cool i know you probably hadn't known about this too uh maybe danny uh told you about it and stuff so yeah we're about to pick uh the winner i guess uh zach you can pick it there's a lot right. of names in this bucket it's pretty incredible how many people retweet and then share just to try to win this die cast and so uh awesome Appreciate it. Zach's about to pull it out right now. Let me see what it is, Zach. Oh, well, I was going to read it out. Oh, okay. You can read it out. All right, so the winner is 
Mark Pyre, NASCAR Rocks MP on Twitter. Okay, uh, his Twitter handle is NASCAR Rocks MP on Twitter. So congratulations, uh, Mark Pryor, winner of the Ryan Sieg number 39 Chevrolet Camaro replica die cast from Auto Club Speedway in 2018. So, Mark, congrats on the die cast. It's a very nice die cast, very special. Uh, hopefully, it can be displayed real well. Um, and of course, his handle is NASCAR Rocks MP on Twitter. So, um, congrats to Mark. Uh, Ryan, it's been a pleasure to have you on the talk show today. And uh, I know you are ready to go. Your race team is ready to go for the 2019 season. Uh, definitely uh, Daytona for sure. Uh, we'll be watching on TV, uh, cheering you on. And hopefully, everybody in chat right now, make sure you cheer on Ryan Sieg. Uh, and, of course, the entire race team this weekend at Daytona. And, again, Lombard Bros Gaming, the first race will be on the car. We'll be at Vegas in just about a couple of weeks. And we'll be doing the whole West Coast swing at them. Uh, three other races throughout the season as well. So, Ryan, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Yep. Hope you have a wonderful day. And yep. go, get ready for day yeah, go get ready for Daytona, man. All right, man. Appreciate it. See you in Vegas. Yep. See you later. All right. Thank you. Bye. Ryan Sieg Racing, driver of the number 39 Chevrolet Camaro in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Uh, best of luck to him and his race team this Saturday at Daytona. And, of course, uh, we will be seeing him in March in Las Vegas when the first race for Lombard Bros Gaming is coming, uh, coming his way. But, um, anyways, uh, once again, Mark Pryor, NASCAR Rocks MP on Twitter. Congratulations on winning the replica die cast of Ryan Seeks number 39 Chevrolet Camaro, Lombard Bros Gaming Chevrolet Camaro from Auto Club in 2018. For, the, for those that just uh, tuned in, or tuned in while Ryan Seeks was here, uh, first off, uh, uh, I do want to thank him for taking the time to join us today on the talk show. Really nice guy. Not just him, but the entire race team. Just Great group of people. You could not ask to work for a better team than Ryan C. Racing. And uh, if you guys ever see them at the racetrack, wherever race it's at, just feel free to say hi to them. Say hello. They they are really nice people. Really generous and just just great group of people. You know what I mean? So I'm really thankful we get to work with them again this season. It was a lot of fun uh, working with them last season. So again, working with them this season. But of course... Uh, wish them the best of luck for Daytona this Saturday, and of course, when support them, support Ryan C in the number thirty nine car when Lombard Bros Gaming is on the car, uh, this year as well for six races this year, six it will be the whole West Coast Swing, Vegas, Phoenix, and Auto Club, and then Bristol in August, and then Vegas in September, and Phoenix in November. So if you guys want to follow Ryan C Racing. On social media, it will be in the chat in just a matter of seconds. Make sure you follow them. Give them a like. Give, uh, just give them a following, you know. Just keep up to date with them. And, of course, if you guys want to follow Lombard Bros Gaming as well, that will also be in chat. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, website, even for Ryan Seed Racing as well. Dogs! That's our, that's our post-talk show ritual now. Let's get the dogs here. Come here! Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. What's up? Easy. Okay, on, that's Gus. nice. Come on. Come on, Gus. Gus. Here, let me stand back. The Come on. Here. There you go. Oh, dogs. There we go. Oh, it's cute dogs. Uh, Zach, can you get that die cast really quick? Yeah. So, Mark Pryor, NASCAR Rocks MP on Twitter, uh, won this uh, Ryan C number 39... Chevrolet Camaro, Lombard Bros Gaming Chevrolet Camaro replica of the Auto Club race in 2018. So, uh, it's a really nice die cast. I do want to thank a guy named Dakota Lay on Facebook for creating this die cast for us. And Mark Pryor, you get this die cast, man. It's awesome. Uh, I do want to let you guys know, if you guys did not see the announcement yet, uh, but Lombard Bros Gaming has returned with Ryan Seed Racing. For the 2019 NASCAR Xfinity Series season, we will be on Ryan Seeks number 39 car in the Xfinity Series for six races this season. This is the car 
uh, for Lombard Bros Gaming and Ryan C. Uh, the Lombard Bros Gaming sponsorship with Ryan C. Starting with the West Coast Swing, of course, starting in Las Vegas in just a couple weeks. Then um, um, ISM Raceway in March, the very next weekend. Of course, Auto Club Speedway the very next weekend as well on March 16th. And of course, Bristol in August, Las Vegas in September, and Phoenix in November. So that is the car. It looks really nice. It's blue, black, and white. Of course, the base color is black. And of course, the blue, the black, and white is our company color, Lombard Bros Gaming Company color. So that is the car. And I'm just excited for this season. Look at the dog, Zach. Hey, not on camera. There are some things you don't do on camera. Especially is, on the couch. That is very disgusting, and I don't appreciate it. You need to mature and be professional as well. Ah, you can scratch it. No, oh, want. God. Not the butt in the face. Come on, now. Yeah, show that butt in the face. Or just chill, you know? You yeah. could do it. Oh, kissy. So, you got, yes. hey, you guys got anything to say? Giz? Got anything to talk about? Yes. Gus, you got anything to talk about? No, we're not doing the licking and the kissing, okay? That's not what we're here for. We're here to do a talk show here, okay? You need to listen to me. You need to act professional and mature. No, stop it. You are not acting professional and mature. You are really not acting professional and mature right now. You need to stop. <laughs> Gotta love these dogs. Hold yeah. on, Zach. Wait, Zach. Wait, wait, huh? wait, wait. Let's get the, the selfie. Hold on. Wait. Do it, Zach. Get in here. Ah, oh. hey, Giz, Gus, Giz, look up. No, Giz, look this way. Perfect. All right, let's see. Hold on, wait. Let's make sure that is perfect. Okay, Gus, look down. I don't care. That's about as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so uh, um, I think that should do it for today's talk show, should it? Yeah. All right, so guys, hope you guys enjoyed this Lombard Bros talk show. Tune in next Monday. We will have Winval, NASCAR YouTuber, join us on the talk show. I do want to thank Ryan Sieg once again for joining us on the talk show uh, today. Such an honor to work with him again this season for six races and Lombard Bros Gaming as well. But you guys, ha take care. Have a good rest of your Monday. Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Interesting 4 with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Mungo 5, and of course Gus and Gizmo. You all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>